On the evening of January 4th, a B-1B bomber crashed. This incident occurred at Ellsworth Air Force Base, which is located in the Black Hills of South Dakota. The base, not far from Rapid City, plays a significant role in the U.S. Air Force, being one of two home bases for the B-1B bomber fleet. Details are still emerging, but what we know so far is that evening, a B-1B Lancer, which was part of the 28th Bomb Wing, stationed at Ellsworth, was returning from a routine training mission. As the bomber approached the base for landing, the crew faced daunting weather conditions. The temperature had plunged below freezing, and a dense fog draped the area, severely limiting visibility, making this approach in instrument flying conditions with low visibility. Amidst these challenging conditions, something went wrong. At approximately 5.50 p.m., the bomber crashed while attempting to land. This moment must have been tense for the crew flying the approach in bad weather and knowing the risks involved. Fortunately, all four crew members, which for a B-1 typically comprises two pilots and two weapon systems officers, were able to eject safely from the aircraft, a testament to their training and the bomber's safety features. Interestingly, early models of the B-1 had an ejection capsule that was soon changed to four ejection seats to save on costs. However, the crash was not without consequence. Local first responders navigating through the fog and cold reported an active fire at the crash site, following what was described as an explosion. In the aftermath, one airman was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries, while the others received treatment for minor injuries at the base. The response to this incident was immediate. Flight operations at Ellsworth were halted, as indicated by a Notice to Airmen slash Notice to Air Missions, or NOTAM, advisory that was issued soon after the crash. This closure reflected the seriousness of the situation and the need for a thorough investigation. The most important thing here is that the four airmen survived and hopefully will be able to fly again soon. The B-1B Lancer, affectionately known as the Bone, is a cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force's bomber fleet and has a storied history. Originally designed as a supersonic, nuclear-capable bomber with variable sweep wings, its role has evolved over the years. The fleet, after being converted to a conventional bomber, has seen extensive use in the Middle East over the past two decades. However, this workload has taken a toll on the aircraft's availability or mission-capable rate. If you'd like to learn more about the B-1's development and operational history, I just completed a full-length video on the Lancer. I'll link the video in the description below. As for Ellsworth Air Force Base, it appears to be on the cusp of a new era. It's slated to be the first to receive the operational B-21 Raider stealth bombers, which are expected to replace the B-1 fleet. The B-21 flew for the first time late last year, and you can watch a video on that historic event as well on this channel. Meanwhile, the 28th Bomb Wing, in the wake of this incident, has emphasized that a thorough investigation will be conducted to ascertain the cause of the crash. This investigation will be crucial in understanding what happened and preventing future incidents, ensuring the safety of both the crew and aircraft. Flying in any form involves risk, and military flying even more so. Military operations are often conducted in conditions that would prohibit civilian operations. Our brave airmen, soldiers, sailors, and marines are out performing dangerous tasks every day to preserve our freedoms. Once again, I'm glad the air crew is able to walk away from this accident. We are certainly living in historic times, and 2024 is shaping up to be a big year on many fronts. As more details about this situation and others unfold, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe so you can learn more about the fascinating world of military aviation and the different aircraft involved in today's global conflicts and areas of increasing tension. Thanks for watching, and now you know. PilotPhotog.com